In this slightly shorter part of this helmet series, we will finally apply some nice bronze smart material to this helmet. By the way, we won't be creating this material from scratch. Instead, I will use one of my existing bronze materials I use for Heroes of Bronze. If you want to create such a material yourself, you can actually have a look at my pedestal tutorial from last year. There I go step by step through this. Alright, here we are back in Substance Painter and let's begin by grouping these two layers with Ctrl G and renaming this folder Height or H apparently. Well, important is that you know what it contains, right? Hide it and now use the smart material that I have provided for this lesson. You can get it from the project files in the description as well. Just drag it into the shelf, import it as a smart material and drag it here into your layers tab like I do. And now let's get to the repurposing stage, which means we will hide all the layers from the top and start turning them on one by one to see how they work. So first we have this base color layer with metallic settings. We will leave that one as is, no need to change it. Then we can turn on this noise here. It's just another fill layer with some fractal sum grayscale fill to mask it out. We can make this slightly larger, scale of 2 will do. Or actually something in between, maybe 1.85. And we can also try to change this to triplanar projection to eliminate some seams. We can do it here as well, though yeah, it doesn't do much. Then let's activate this noise overlay and again start changing the projection of the mask fill layer. Triplanar and scale of 21. Nah, just kidding. One will do. Oxidation is almost invisible here, but it's quite okay. I don't really want this helmet to look too old and oxidized. Same goes for oxidation details. Let's activate it and we can increase some of the sliders in here, but I don't really want to stretch it in this case. Besides, it's not doing much as well. Scratching adds an overall layer of these little damage lines, so that's what we do want. And this edges layer uses this metal edgeware generator where we can increase the curvature weight to have these light edges more visible. It always makes the result look nicer. Finally, cavity layer is what adds that nice dirt and darkening to the damaged areas and edges. But this may be too much, so play around with the texture sliders and lower the curvature here. Still too much. So, you know what? Let's instead bring down the opacity a little. Oh, and here I re-enable the scratches because I turned them off by accident. This looks quite alright, though something that might make this a bit more interesting is adding black color to the mix. Because some of the helmets, or at least some of the helmet recreations I've seen, have slightly darker bronze parts combined with the shiny ones. Add a fill layer right underneath the noise layer to still be covered by some of the extra effects. Deactivate everything except for the color channel and then use dark color. Ooh, this looks interesting. Though I don't really want it all over the helmet. Name the layer Darken and add a black mask to it. Now with this UV chunk fill tool, fill maybe this area, this edge and the inner parts. Right here you can see we have some weird problem with the masking of the cavity layer. So let's manually remove it by using the dirt brush. And also don't forget to deactivate the lazy mouse option that you can see I still have active here. So paint out the hard edge and then add back in some of the dirt with this dirt brush. Remove this one as well. And that's it. One thing that's ruining the black effect a bit is this edges layer. It's affecting it quite significantly. The way to fix it is to remove it just from these portions. So just add a paint layer onto the mask of this layer and then mask it out with UV chunk fill tool using black color of course. And that doesn't really work so maybe put the layer right below the darken layer. No, I don't like that either. 
Though now I can see better what's masked out, so I will add this region to the darken mask. Well, you know what? Let's put the edges layer back up. I don't really like the effect without the edge damage. Instead though, lower this curvature weight back down and put the layer right here above the scratching layer. Yep, this looks okay. And we can now even lower the opacity of the darken layer a bit to something like 84. Good. We will actually play around with this darken layer much more in the very last part of this tutorial. Uh, so let's leave it like this for now, but we will get back to it. Now it's mostly about playing with the various layers and their masks until you're happy with the result. Here for example, I added more dirt level to this dirt generator on the oxidation details layer. I then decided to raise back up the opacity of the darken layer. In the end it looks better. To improve the masking a bit, we will of course go in and start fiddling with this very hard edge here. It looks unnatural. So use dirt one brush, add a new paint layer and start painting along the length of this mask. Use smaller brush and to make it all a little easier, you can actually activate symmetry for this and also with shift make straight lines that will make the whole tracing process faster. Also, whenever you encounter this sort of scratch, remove this region as well. All that remains is to add a white mask to the whole bronze material and from it remove the crest holder area, because that one we will texture in the next part of this series. What we will do still in this part though is to fill this region with the bronze material and in the next lesson we will figure out some nicer transition to this. So don't forget to comment, subscribe and you know, have a look at my Heroes of Bronze project. Oh and uh, if you like this tutorial and want to support the project, don't forget I have a Patreon page with all sorts of bonuses, behind the scenes and downloadable stuff. And also the CG Boost Substance Painter Launchpad course, that's a big one. And here's some reviews, so you can get that as well. But that's it for today friends, and see you next time, Martin out.